We're on lesson 10-2. Remember, we've already done the guided practice in class, so we'll get started with the rest of it. So this has been done, so we'll head to number four. So write and solve a multiplication equation. So remember, equation means I need that equal sign, and it's going to be with multiplication. And then it says use drawings or numbers as needed. Remember, multiplication is always the number of groups times the group size. So let's look here. Here I have one, two, three, four, five groups. And then I'm timesing it by how big they are. Well, I see they're all the same size and they're all one eighth. Now, if this is all we have, that'd be wrong because it wants that equation. So I need to say, what is it equal? And then remember, we always multiply the whole number times the numerator because we have those five equal groups. So that's five eighths. To number five, we have groups again times size. So here we have one, two, three groups times the size. And the size is they're all two tenths of a pi. So then we need to multiply it. So remember, we multiply our numerator times the whole number. So I would get 6 tenths. And then I think, how can I simplify or reduce this? Well, I can divide it by 2 halves. Remember, 2 halves is the same as 1, so I'm not changing our answer, which would then be 6 divided by 2 is 3. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So my final answer is 3 fifths. Heading off to number 6, we have calculate the distance Margo needs to ride her bike if she rides her bike eight mile, seven eighths of a mile each day for eight days. Well, here I have my groups. I have eight days, so eight groups, and here I have my size. So I have eight times seven eighths, which equals 56 over eight. And if I know my multiplication facts, or my division facts, I know I can divide it by eight over eight which would then give me seven over one, which is the same as seven. A nice little trick here that we've talked about in class is remember, I can always write this whole number as a fraction. And then if I have the same number up top as I do in the bottom, or the same number I have in my numerator and denominator, they cancel out. So then I'm left with just seven over one, which would be that seven that I ended up with for my answer. For number seven, we have calculate the distance Tom needs to ride his bike if he rides five six so again that's my size and he rides it for five days so that's my group so here I have five times five six again multiply the whole number times the numerator so that would be twenty five six and then I need to do my simplification or my renaming so I have twenty five pieces and I make it in groups of six so here I would do 25 divided by 6 and see what I have left over. That's going to be 4 groups. 6 times 4 is 24. Subtract, and I have 1 left over. So I have 4 holes, and I have 1 piece left over. And how many pieces do I need to make a hole? Well, I need 6. So that's where my denominator comes in. So my final answer is 4 and 1 6. So that's how far Tom would ride. Heading on to the back. We have Kiana fills up a measuring cups with three-fourths of a cup of juice three times to make punch. Write and solve a multiplication equation with a whole number, so remember that's without a fraction, and a fraction to show the total amount. Remember again, I have group times size. So I have three groups, one, two, three, times my size is their three-fourths. So my answer is going to be 3 times 9. Remember, whole number times my numerator is 9 fourths. And now I have to rename that. So I'm going to do 9 divided by 4. Remember, I can always think of this fraction sign, or fraction bar, as a division sign. 4 goes into 9 2 times. Multiply 4 times 2 and get 8. Have a leftover of 1. So that means I have two whole cups with one piece left over. And how many pieces do I need to make a cup? Well, that was my four. So my final answer is two and one fourth. For number nine, we have each lap around a track is three tenths of a kilometer. So that again sounds like that's gonna be my size. Elliot walked around the track four times. So that's my groups. How far did he walk? Well, here they have a nice little picture for us. I'm going to do my multiplication of four times three tenths which gives me 12 tenths. And now I'm gonna check that against this piece up here. Well, let's see, repeat addition. This would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, which matches what I have here. But I need to rename it. So let's use instead our number line to solve this. Well, here I see I have one whole, and then I have one two tenths left. My final answer is one and two tenths, but wait, I noticed two and 10 are even numbers, so I can divide that by two halves, which will give me one. Two divided by two is one. 10 divided by two is five. So my absolute final answer is one and one fifth of a kilometer. Number 10, Margo bought four concert tickets for $38 each, one concert shirt for $56, and two buckets of popcorn for $6. How much did she spend? Well, these aren't fractions, but it's again multiplication because I have groups times size. But this is different because I have three different groups. So when I have four times 38, that's my concert tickets. Then I have one group, one shirt, times 56. And then I have two groups, two buckets of popcorn for $6. So what will that be? Well, this one's going to be 12. This will be 56. I can't do 38 times 4 in my head, so I'm going to go over here. I could also do 38 times, or 38 is about 40 times 4, and then take away those extra two groups that I did, which would be 160. Take away those two groups of 8, or two groups of 4, which would be 8, which is 152. But I'm going to check my mental math as well. 4 times 8 is 2. Regroup that 3. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15, which gives me that same answer. So now I can add all these guys up. 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Regroup. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 5 is 11, plus 1 is 12. Regroup. 1 plus 1 is 2. So my final answer is I have spent at this concert $220. Number 11. Pan lasagna is cut into six equal pieces. The chef serves five pieces of the lasagna. Right and solve multiplication equations show how much a lasagna is served. So we have a pan of lasagna is cut into six, but he's only serving five of those pieces. So this I have a fraction. And remember, fractions are always parts over whole. So how many parts do I have? Well, I have five parts because he's serving those five pieces. But my lasagna was actually made out of six pieces. So that's how many I have for the whole. So my answer is going to be five, six. But what I notice here is there's a problem. It says right and solving multiplication equation, and I just found out my answer. So what it's asking me for again is how many parts do I have and how many pieces. So again, I have my groups times my size. So don't forget to always read that problem. We need that equation. So this one's different because my size is the size of lasagna. It's 1 sixth. And I'm multiplying it by how many groups? Well, he served five groups. So my answer is 5 six, which you'll notice matched my initial guess, my initial hunch, when I looked at that model. Number 12. When you slice the loaf of bread into 12 equal pieces, she uses four of the slices to make sandwiches. What fraction of the bread is left? Well, here I have one whole, but it's broken up into twelfths. So I started out with one whole, which is 12 twelfths, but she used four of the slices. So that's going to be 12 minus four twelfths, because I'm using four of those pieces. So what am I left with? I'm left with eight twelfths. But again, I notice I can divide 8 and 12 by 4 fourths. So I'm left with 2 over 3. So I have 2 thirds of my bread left. Number 13, a baker uses 2 thirds a cup of rye flour in each loaf of bread. How many cups of rye flour will the baker use in 3 loaves, in 7 loaves, in 10 loaves? Well, again, I have the same idea of multiplication. I have groups times my size. My size for all of them is at 2 thirds. And since I have three problems going on, I need to show three different works, or three different answers. So here I have three groups. Next I have seven groups. Last I have 10 groups. So now I just need to solve each of them. Well, I notice three times two is six over three, and I can divide that by three 
which gives me two holes. Notice again, this is my trick. I can put that three over one, and then those threes cancel out because I'm dividing it by three at the end, which I notice right here. Next, I have seven times two is 14 over three, and I need to rename that. So if I have 14 divided by three, I would have four holes with two left over. So here would be four and two thirds. My last one is 10 times two is 20 over three. And again, I need to rename that. So I have 20 divided by three. That will have six holes with, again, two left over. So I would have two pieces left, but I would need three to make a hole. So that's where my denominator comes in. Okay, our last two, we're almost done. Select all, so remember, that means I can have more than one. Select all the expressions that represent the following story. Elaine jog four-fifths of a mile for each day for seven days. Use drawings or number lines as needed. So here, again, I always have groups times size. So I have seven groups, seven days, times my size is four-fifths. So I notice that very first one I'm going to mark off. The next one I see is repeat addition. So remember, with multiplication, it means you can add the same number over and over and over. So as long as I have seven groups that I'm adding, then I know my answer would still be the same. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'd mark that one off as well. Here, I see seven times four fifths, but down here I see seven times one fifth. So since these numbers are different, but the first one's the same, I know this won't be the answer. Same with this bottom one, seven and seven, but here I have four fifths and two fifths. So my answer is going to be different because I'm multiplying. This one, though, has something a little strange. I don't know where they got that 14 from, but I notice it's not a 7. So I need to check this one just to make sure. So I would have 14 times 2 is 28 over 5. And notice what I have up here. 7 times 4 is 28 over 5. So this one would be the correct answer as well. We're not quite sure why they wrote it as 14, but it does give me that same answer because they're both equivalent to 28 fifths. This next one, select all the expressions for number 15 that represent the following story. Freddie skated half a mile each day for six days. Again, this is multiplication because I have groups times size. So I have six groups times my size is a half. So let's see if we have that one anywhere. Oh, look, it's number two right away. Again, we have multiplication is just repeat addition, so that would be one half plus one half six times. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups. So this one is correct as well. Now, what I'm going to do here, because I saw this one was tricky over here with that 14, I'm going to just check to see what six times a half actually is. Six times one is six, divided by two is three. So I'm going to see if any of these other answers are equal to three. Well, I know that three times two is six, so it won't be this one. I know that six times Ooh, here, remember, I always have to do my multiplication first because of PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So I have to do that multiplication before addition. 2 times 1 is 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So this whole thing in here equals to 1. 6 plus 1 is 7, so this one doesn't check out. And 6 times 3, well, that one doesn't check out either because that's 18. So this one only had two answers. That's it. See you tomorrow.